My name is Lou Grill. I'm here at Sage Technical Services in Billings, Montana. And today I'm going to demonstrate for you the uh, mechanism that's used and components in the coupling and uncoupling of a set of doubles. Specifically, it'll be the converter dolly. There are a number of parts that, uh, and a very limited number of parts that are used in this operation. This is a pintle hook, which I'll demonstrate to you what those parts are. And that pintle hook will be connected to the eye hook of the converter dolly. This is a converter dolly. It has a fifth wheel mechanism to it. This fifth wheel mechanism then is connected to another semi-trailer, converter dolly connected to a semi-trailer, and then we have a set of doubles. If we had another converter dolly and another trailer, we could have a set of triples. Okay, so <clears throat> this part of the component is of, of the uh, converter dolly is an eye hook. This eye hook, as you can see, it's made of very stout iron. Um, I don't know what kind of strength it would take for it to break, but uh, the only way that this part of the mechanism would fail is, is if this actually broke itself. There are two chains with hooks that are used as safety latches uh, just in case in the event that the converter dolly would break loose, then hopefully the uh, chains then would hold the uh, converter dolly to the trailer so it just wouldn't go rolling off down the highway. This mechanism here is the pintle hook. Now the pintle hook, unlike the eye hook, is made up of a number of different parts. We have a latch, a locking latch mechanism that will lock down the safety latch. The safety latch in itself is operated by pulling out a lever, lifting it up, and once that lever is then lifted up, the eye hook mechanism will come right here inside the pintle hook itself. The driver will ensure that the mechanism is locked down and that that latch is pushed all the way in. And then once the safety lock is in place, there really is no way for it to come back up again. It's locked in its position. When the air hoses are connected to the trailer and then the driver releases air, in order to activate air into the back trailer, there is a mechanism here, a plunger, which will come out and it will take that eye hook and snug the eye hook so that there wouldn't be uh, excessive play, which would wear out this stout iron and the stout iron that I pointed out before on the eye hook. So in, and it would serve as, um, as further safety precautions. But you could see that there's really no way if a driver during his inspection is ascertaining that the uh, locking mechanism is down, well then this latch cannot come up. That, that locking latch, once it's down, it's not supposed to come back up when the lever is pushed in. And then to further ensure that, you then have the, uh, that locking mechanism that will come down. It's spring loaded so that as you're going down the highway, there might be some vibrations, but the spring is supposed to keep it down. If in the event that the spring is not doing that, then obviously the spring needs to be replaced. If in the event that the lever itself, when the trailer is locked into it, doesn't want to uh, go in all the way in order to lock it, let's say it was only out to about there, but there's a spring there that assists that in holding closed. But if it doesn't want to, then again, that is part of a driver's pre-trip inspection. You're supposed to be looking at that, reporting any problems like that to a maintenance department, and the maintenance department fixing it. The purpose of this entire system is safety, obviously, so that the eye hook of the converter dolly simply cannot come loose in normal operation. Okay, let's hook it up. And uh, to do that, I'll lift up the uh, safety latch itself with its locking device and we'll back her up to the converter dolly and hook it up. Okay, having backed the trailer up to the converter dolly, the next step then is to uh, lift up the converter dolly and hook it into the uh, pintle hook.
We're in. Latch one comes down. It's really a double safety mechanism. It can't come up again as long as these parts, the integrity of these parts are okay. And a driver has to look at that during his vehicle inspection. Safety lock number two comes down and that assures that even if there was a failure somewhere in route of the, of the uh, latching mechanism, the safety lock will put a double insurance on the latching mechanism. <clears throat> okay, the next part of the procedure is we will um, we'll use our safety chains and hooks. We cross these, it's more bilateral symmetrical on its pool, and it's actually a, uh, a safer and more recommended way to, uh, to do that. You'll notice I'm going over the bumper, then locking that, uh, that latch in place. Now, the next step to it is the connecting of the air lines, and we will connect the uh, emergency line, and then connect the service line, and then we'll supply the emergency air to the trailer, which will then activate the plunger on the eye hook. Okay, so first I will connect the uh, emergency line over to the trailer. And then I'll take the service line and connect that to, uh, to the trailer or converter dolly. I really mean the converter dolly. So now I have the service line to the converter dolly and I have the emergency line to the converter dolly and I have another emergency and service line that then will connect over to the trailer. Okay, so then I will supply air through the emergency to the trailer. When I do that, you'll notice now the plunger is in. So we'll zoom in on this cameraman and show as I lift the locking mechanisms up. There's the plunger. It doesn't want to come up. It's a third system to hold it in place. This plunger right here, which is holding up against the eye hook, is also keeping the locking latch of the pinnel hook from wanting to come all the way up. So there you have it. You've got a plunger, you've got a locking latch, and, uh, and a safety latch onto that other locking latch. There is just simple no way in normal operation that this mechanism is gonna come loose.